Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Iris Falls. This is a cutesy little puzzle game developed by NEXT Studios, N-E-X-T Studios, uh, published by PM Studios, and it's usually available for £16.74 slash 20 bucks, but is entirely free if you have games with gold for the whole month of January to February 2023. Oh, Happy New Year's, by the way, everyone. Yay! Get ready for another vintage, crappy year. Anyway, no, I'm joking. Everyone's going to be rich and famous and stuff. I got gotcha. you. So anyway, download this now anyway, even if you intend to play it later. So this has a similar style game to Contrast. You're sort of hiding and blending in the shadows as we take, presumably her name is Iris Falls, on a weird adventure with powers which we don't know how we got, shoved into a world we don't know how we got there, but still, puzzles and stuff. You. As for achievements, all 22 are very easy to get. There are uh, there are basically one or two miscellaneous ones in each chapter, and some require you to do a puzzle first time, but again, is very uh, very easy anyway. Uh, you can reload a checkpoint if you mess up, or reload any chapter if you did somehow miss something. I'll obviously let you know what you need to do and input anyway, so all is well in love and love. So this should take us around no more than an hour or so to complete following this guide. It's nice and noisy. So with that being said, then let us begin. Uh, now you can press the B, press and hold the B button to skip all cutscenes, which we are going to be doing. And by the way, free is good. Freedom, baby. Every American just shouting freedom right now. Uh, no, I'm joking. Anyway, so as we start, uh, obviously left stick to move. And what you're going to see is this cat. And what you're going to see is this open book. Now, anytime we see an open book, we're going to press the A button next to it. And we blend into the shadows. Yeah, baby. Go towards the left-hand side, press the A button to blend out. And there we go. That's pretty much the tutorial of how to blend in and out of shadows in this game. Done. Nice and easy. Again, like I said, we're going to press all the... Uh, just press and hold the B button to skip all the cutscenes. Sadly, we don't have time to watch them. So head to the left. Uh, and you're going to see this book in the middle of this room, so obviously press the A button again, and we're going to blend into the shadows. Head left up the pipe, press the A button to blend back out, and pick up the pipe. Somehow, she's, I don't know where she's shoving that pipe, but uh, best not to go there. So press the A button to go back in, and blend back down, go to down to the right, blend back out. I'm, I'm not going to say blend in and out all the time, by the way. Uh, head to the right, and you're going to see this big pipe, so press the Y button. Press the A button in the inventory and then the left stick to move it over and then you can again press the A button there and that will put the pipe in. Go to the book just to the right of these, uh, these big pipe, press the A button and head up to the left when you are in the shadows. Press the A button again to get back out and head through the door. You see how easy is this? This is It's going to be not a problem at all. Eh? Not a problem at all. I don't think. Right. So, heading up, uh, what you need to do is head to the left. There is a hole in the wall uh, floor, by the way, in case you couldn't get past. But go towards the curtains here in the back, and then press the A button on the picture. And we're going to blend back out. So, go to the left here on this seesaw, pick up the um, horseshoe, or whatever that is, the metal piece. Go to the opposite end. Get your inventory out. It's the gear cog, by the way. So place the gear cog on. Again, pressing the Y button to open up your inventory. And now just to the left of that, go into the book. And head to the right. We're also going to get our first achievement here. Pressing the A button to stick this doll puppet. Again, where the sun seemingly doesn't seem to shine. Impressive. So there's our first achievement, Blurred Reality. So now head back down uh, to the left, out of the book. Head to the right. And you're going to see this little uh, little puzzle which we're going to do. So you have to do it in this order. The left button you're going to push two times. So the very left button you're going to push two times here. The middle button you're going to be pushing three times. So unos, dos, tresos. And then finally the right button you're going to press twice. So that's from left to right two Three, two, and that will complete the puzzle. And then we are golden as dandy balls. Press the uh, press the B button again to skip the cutscene. We don't need that. So we can head to the right. We're going to now interact with the book. Again, very handily placed books in these games. It's unbelievable. Uh, for some reason, having a bit of uh, trouble getting there. But uh, <laughs> some of the books may be a little bit finicky, but it's generally not too bad. Heading up the left then, 
uh, get out of the book and you can pick up the next dolly. And there we go. That This is basically now going to sort of end this uh, first chapter. Get into the book, go back down to the right, interact with the book again to get out. And now we're going to head back towards the curtains. Now what you have to do is, well, where the curtains were, you now need to place the dolls on both of the hooks. So again, press the white button to get your inventory out. And we're going to press, uh, press, place the first doll on the right-hand side, and then the second doll on the... I don't think it matters too much. Uh, you just could, basically you just got to match the poses. So the poses are just in the top left corner, if you needed to know. Uh, so what we're going to do is start with the left one first. So um, interact with the head twice so that the head is pointing to the right. Then interact with the body so that the arm is sort of up. And then the last one is so that the legs are sort of spread apart there. Then over to the right hand side, make sure the head is pointing to the left and the body, uh, basically the body all is looking to the left. Again, I, I do apologize for some reason, the recording decided to have an absolute mess up right there. Um, so if the video got a little bit quicker than my audio there, I do apologize. Just pause the video and you'll see exactly what, um, what I did there to complete that first puzzle and first chapter. Um, which is a bit annoying. Why are you recording do this? Stupid technology. I hate it, but it's so good. Right, as we begin then, chapter two, head to the back, go into the book, go inside, go to the left, pick up the steering wheel here. We're gonna need this and go back out because we are going to be doing a puzzle that we need to complete the first time. Again, if you do mess up, reload the last checkpoint and you should be fine to just do it again. So head up, basically up on the screen until you see this little window on the left here. Press the A button. And then what's going to happen is we're going to press the Y button to go into our inventory, put the steering wheel on there, or the valve, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And that opens up this puzzle. So remember, let's try not to mess up. So what we're going to do then, there are two lever or two sort of wires on the left. You need to put them in specific positions. So the first one we're going to grab is the one on the um, very left. So make sure to pick up the left wire first. It doesn't matter what order you pick them up in as long as you put them in the right place. So the left one goes on the very right hole and then over the other side grab the next piece of wire and put it in the left side hole. Press the green button and that'll go and that'll restart the heart. So for this next one then what you're going to do we're going to grab the very left piece wire and we're going to put that in the top right corner so the very left wire in the top right, and then the longest piece, put it in the other hole at the bottom there, and then we can press the red button, restart the heart, Johnny boy, restart it, Zzzt. oh yeah, right, and so for this last one then, we're going to grab the right hand side longest piece, and put that in the bottom hole, it's sort of in the middle row, then pick the next piece up, make sure to put this in the top right hand side hole, so the next longest piece in the top right hole, and then the left piece there, Put it in the top left piece and that is exactly how it should look and then press the red button and that is all good again that will get you the next achievement there for a complete circuit for completing that the first time Fantastic. right so we can just skip the cutscene again as poi usual and we can just head on go into the book and we're going to start heading all the way up to the top right hand corner press a to get out of the book again and just head on through. Mary Jane, Joseph, Johnny, blech, yeah. Right, so lots of fun things to do here. Um, now these puzzles are actually not too bad. They may seem complicated, but yeah, they're okay. So as we start heading around the platform, what we're going to do is head to the second, or the sort of middle, of these three bits of gears right here. This, uh, I say the second middle one here. So go into your inventory, get out the iron bar, and we're going to pop that in. Go and stick it in. Dry. No oil. Ugh. Robots Robots need a bit of luby oil. But uh, anyway, head to the one just behind you there. Press it once. And that'll, uh, well, that's going to get us going, isn't it? So head back to the left-hand side. And we are just going to head up these steps now and go into the book. Whoops. Uh, somehow I ended up missing the steps. But we're going to go up these steps now. And uh, we're going to press the A button, we're going to go in, you can see us on the right hand side, so head up to the left, press the A button to get out of the book, and we have, I mean we could have probably easily just jumped up there, but you know, what do I know? I'm not a little girl with weird powers, am I? Uh, so keep on heading up the steps anyway, and we are going to do a couple of puzzles, and I have to do these in a specific order. 
So we're going to press the X button two times here. So press the X button twice. Or, of course, it's square if you're on PlayStation. And then we're going to head back up the stairs uh, to find another one of these puzzles. So for this next one, what we're going to do, we're going to press the X button two times and then the A button two times. So X button twice and then A button twice. Again, if you're on PlayStation, that'll be square button twice and then cross button twice. There we go. So X twice, A twice, and then we can move on. So we're going to start heading back down the stairs now for another one of these little puzzles. And for this last one, then, we're going to press the A button once. So there we go. Press the A button once. And then we're going to press the X button three times. So that's A once, X three times. Or again, if you're on PlayStation, that'll be cross once and square three times. See, I'm inclusive of all console gamers. Right. <laughs> or any games at all. Because I love you guys. Love you all. Right. Interacting with the book there. Now we can start heading up to the left. And then interact with the book again, and that'll get us up the steps. And that will pretty much end the chapter. Press B to cutscene, skip, and our life is grande. Right, so, already on chapter three, boys, smashing it. Right, go to the right lever first, and then interact with this lever three times. So the right lever here, we're going to interact with, like I said, three times. And then after we've done that, we're going to go to the left lever, and then interact with that twice. So the left lever here, interact with it two times. So we got one of my mega devices uh, that have just appeared at the bottom of the screen, or the bottom circle. So that's what we're going to go ahead and grab. So make sure to pick it up. Again, somehow she's got all the room in her bag for stuff like this. That's lucky. And then go to the robot's hand. It's a big giant hand, you can't really miss it. Press the Y button, put the device into the robot. And then again, we've got to do a little tiny puzzle here. Again, this is for an achievement, uh, which we have to do first time. So of course, I'm going to be telling you exactly what to do. So. There are three, there are a couple of levers here. What we need to do is interact with the very left one once. Sorry, there's only two levers here. Uh, interact with the left one once, then interact with the right lever once, then interact with the left lever twice. And once we go down, so back to the left lever, interact with this one twice. And again, come on, girl. Use that steroid strength. And then finally, we're going to choose the right lever and we're going to interact with this three times. So three times to this right lever. This will complete the puzzle and get us the next achievement. And the achievement is called Good Timing, just in case you wanted to know. Uh, so that is how you do that puzzle then. So, once we're done, we can head to the right and head up the steps. And, of course, again, a conveniently placed books for us. Just fantastic. We're going to head into the book, up to the left, and out of the book, and keep heading up the steps. A lot of walking in this game. I am K-knackered, mate. K-knackered. So, head to the right. There is going to be a bin that we are going to knock over for an achievement called Clumsy. Clums white. So there it is. That is the bit that is the bin full of coal. So interacting with that then gets us the clumsy achievement. So interact with this uh, sort of plaque, what kind of looks like a plaque here on the back wall. Again, we're going to have to do this in a particular order. So first of all, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we've got a couple of buttons that we need to interact with. First of all, interact with the leaf at the top and then the arrow. So then it's leaf and then arrow. Next up, then you're going to interact with the storm, the moon, and then the arrow. So Storm, Moon, and Arrow. Next up, you're going to interact with the Storm, the Leaf, and the Arrow. So Storm, Leaf, and Arrow. And then finally, you're just going to interact with the Moon, and then the Arrow. So the Moon, and the Arrow, 
and that is how you will complete this puzzle. There we go, fantastic! Right, so head to the left, past the comfy destroyed looking bed, it's not that comfy, and interact with the bear. Uh, why does my bed look like that? So, now we need to interact with the leaf, moon, leaf and moon. So that's the order that you need to do it in, so leaf, then moon, then leaf, then moon. And that'll get this bit going. So all we're going to do for the time being then, we're going to start walking to the right. Um, basically, just keep walking to the right until the bat attacks us. There it is. Hey, screw you, Batman! I'll get Superman onto you, who, let's be honest, would completely destroy him in a fight. Unless, apparently, the name Martha just completely ruined that film, didn't it? So, see the puzzle on the right? Now we need to interact with the top middle one, or so the top second one, once, and then the top right one. So, basically, the top second and the top fourth one. Uh, so, the top second one once, and then the top fourth one... Uh, basically all the way until we have completed this puzzle. So once we have completed the puzzle and we're still getting over the disappointment, that was Batman versus Superman. Um, <laughs> after this little bit, what we need to do then is go back to these pictures here on the wall. And we just need to, well, we need to clean each picture. All you got to do is just keep spamming the A button and then we, and um, basically that'll clean all the pictures. Get off the bed, she said. We got achievements to get, mate. We, we ain't got time for this. 2023, bro. Now it's 2023. Technically, it's 2022 as I'm recording, but, uh, you know. So just keep pressing the A button to clean the pictures, and then you'll pick up the last picture at the very end. Right, mate, and after this bit, get your buns in that fireplace, huns. And that is the end of chapter 3. Now I am Franch. Apparent Ra. So, with the chapter 4, we're going to be beamed to death, well, not to death, but by this weird cat statue, which of course is not ominous at all. So we're going to solve a set of three puzzles, and it's literally just, um, it's, you just got to make a picture. Uh, so there's nothing to really, I can't really explain anything here, so if you want to, you can skip for the video by about 10, 15 seconds. Have a look, pause the video, and then just, um, copy the exact same images that I do. But we're going to be doing three of these images, uh, to move on. No achievements tied to this, so, yeah, you're all good.
Right, so for this next puzzle then, after we've gotten rid of the cat statue, thank you. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to crack you open like an Easter egg. Now this is, uh, now we have to do this in a particular order to get the Observer achievement. So from left to right is one to seven. So we have to stand, first of all, at the sixth one. So you see how my shadow got in front of the eyeball? That is what we need to do. So we're gonna stand in front of the sixth eyeball first. So just stand in front of him until he breaks and collapses. Then we're going to go to the fourth one. So the fourth eyeball here, stand in front of the fourth one. Next, we're going to go to the very first eyeball, which is on the left. Again, stand in front of him, make sure that your shadow is in front. Shadow the Hedgehog is a cool ass bruh. There we go. Next, we're gonna go to the third eyeball. Again, remember we have to do this first time. If you do mess up, just reload the last checkpoint. After the third one, go all the way to the right, to the seventh eyeball. Dun, 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 dun. Then go to the fifth eyeball. Man, how did how did developers come up with these puzzles? I'm always interested to know. Uh, anyway, then go to the second one, of course, and that will get you the observer achievement, plus the ability to move on with the story. Brilliante. So once we got that then, interact with the book and we're gonna do quite a bit of platforming and stuff. So what we're gonna do then, we're going to press the A button twice, first of all. So press the A button twice. And then we're gonna go left onto the first platform. Then we're gonna press the A button three times. So press the A button here three times and then go onto the second platform. Do it now. Then we're gonna press the A button two more times. And then after this, we're gonna to go to the third platform. So press the A button twice onto the third platform. You'll get this little cutscene, but we still need to go onto platform three anyway. So when we're on platform three, press the A button once and then go to platform number four. Now we're gonna be doing something a little different. Press the X button twice. So press the X button twice and then go to platform number five. Now we're gonna press the X button once and then we're gonna to go to platform number seven. So skip number six, straight over to seven. And finally, coming in at platform number seven, we're gonna press the A button one more time. A lot better than that lad baby sausage roll crappy song that uh, they keep ruining every Christmas with. So after that one, we press the A button. We can now interact with the book. Yes, lad baby, lad baby are a bunch of Tory loving tosses. So uh, yeah, anyway, enough about those scummers. What we're gonna do, we're gonna head into the hallway, out of the hallway and complete chapter four and on to chapter five. Right, so immediately we're going to be chasing the cat. See the little black cat? Yes, we're going to chase that little broski three times. And that will unlock the Hey Kitty achievement. Now, I got shouted at for saying I didn't like cats before by quite a few people. So, this time I love cats. Yes, I'm not allergic to them or anything. Uh, so, after you've got the achievement, anyway, we're going to interact with the pedestal. Now, you've basically got to make shadows and uh, I'll just tell you exactly where to go with this one. So, go to the left. Just once, press the A button on it. And then we're going to press the A button actually on the lamppost. I'll call it a lamppost. That'll get up, that'll light up the way. Next, head up once. And then head up again. So it's at the very top. And then we can head to the left once more. And press the A button on the lamppost. That'll light up the fourth way. Next, go down once. Then down one again. So it's at the very bottom. Then to the right. And then press the A button on the lamppost again. That'll light up the way once again. Press the A button to pop it back up and then go up once. And then press the A button here, but we've actually now got to go left, so it's at the very top. Then back down to the right. And then we'll press the A button on the lamppost. That'll light up that way. And then we can put it up, <laughs> stick it up, go down once, go down again and press the A button, that will complete that chapter. So now, we're going to be coming up to a Q puzzle, but we have to get this basically right 
within three tries. So I will tell you exactly what to do. Basically, from left to right is the numbers that you, you the, basically, that you just need. So the uh, order number is the fourth button. So number four once, and then number five once, and then number three just once. And you will get the Cube Master achievement and now have the ability to go through these couple of weird greeny ass doors. So then, up to the next Cuban housing trousen. Right, here's the order that you gotta do it in then. So, we're gonna go for number one, then number four, then number five, then number four, number four again, and number five. And the doors will open, so, you know what to do? Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm a little girl with shadowy powers for some gingerbread man reason. And to complete the chapter of life. <sighs> These are the order of numbers that you've got to do it in then. So, first of all, it's number three. So, numeres trinos. Then number five. Number five again. Number five again. So, that's uh, three times you've got to press number five. Then number four. And finally, for the big finale, number five. And we can head through the door, complete the chapter, and enjoy a nice cup of tea. Made the British way, not the American tap water uh, microwave way. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm just, uh, I'm only joking, Americans, by the way. Um, I've only seen what I've seen on some TikTok videos, and that's why TikToks are stupid. Right, so, for this next puzzle then, basically, uh, what I'm going to say is, we, as we interact with the pedestal, so, there are three points, it's like a triangle, so you've got the top point, uh, a right point, and a left point, and we need to turn these basically clockwise and anti-clockwise. Now, obviously, if, you, if you're not very familiar, clockwise is the... Uh, basically the right-hand side button that we need to push, and then anti-clockwise is the left-hand side button that we need to push. So, first of all, so as you can see then, the top point that we're at right now, so first of all, choose the right point clockwise and turn that twice. Then, up to the top point, we're going to turn that clockwise. So remember, clockwise on the right, anti-clockwise on the left. Go back down to the right point and turn it clockwise twice. Then turn the top point, so go back up to the top point now, and turn it clockwise twice. There we go. And then we're going to go down to the left point, and turn that clockwise three times. So down to the left point, and then turn it clockwise three times. There she blas. Next we're going to turn the top point anti-clockwise, so the top point over to the left side, right there. Then we're going to turn the right point clockwise three times. So the right point clockwise three times. Then we're going to turn the top point clockwise just once. Then we're going to turn the right point clockwise three times again. <sighs> and then finally we're going to turn the top point clockwise three times again to finish this puzzle. So I do hope that made sense, and I do hope that you were able to follow along with the video easily. Uh, or that Pacific Ocean puzzle um, without too many issues. If so, handy days. Right, so for this next puzzle, this is another achievement. We have to do this in order. There's only four buttons. So first of all, press number two, then number four, 
Then number three. Then number one. Number one. What kind of wiener name is that? Then number three again. And that is how you complete the puzzle, progress the story, and get the ink saver achievement. Again, that's what you have to do first time. If you didn't, if you messed up, reload the last checkpoint before finishing, and uh, crack along with it. So now we can pick up the shoe, which is just in front of you, and head into the back room here. So on the right-hand side shelf, you're going to see a little butterfly. So we're going to pick that up. Again, no questions from where it's come from. Then we're going to pick up the next butterfly, just chilling on the carpet. And then after this, what we're going to do is interact with the device here, just chilling randomly on the floor. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Why did it pop up like that? So, three hooks are appearing. What we're going to do is grab the next butterfly here, and then we've got three that we need to do. So, staying next to this middle hook, press the Y button to whap out your inventorious, and place the biggest butterfly on the middle hook. So, Largen Butterflygen on the old Largen Hooken Trugen. I'll go to the right-hand side hook, and the next we're going to put the smallest butterfly. So, the little tiniest of wienerest butterflies we're going to put on the right-hand hook. And then for the last one, go to the left-hand side hook and get the above average, or just roughly about average, butterfly on the left-hand side hook. And then, ta-da! So after that's done, make sure to grab the end of bells, which is just on the floor. So you should have a shoe and a bell in your inventory, nice and random. So after this bit then, we are going to start heading through the new weirdly open door again because that's what you always do if a new dark weird place opens up that's exactly what you do you go in for a look don't you in real life that means death so what we're going to do then interact with the cranky device right here uh, right in front of us basically the light and then we're going to interact with the button on the ground which is just to the right of us here we're going to interact with that just once so that she starts bending over <laughs> Oh, well, damn, well, I don't usually do this on a first date, but, uh, so head over to the left, uh, over to the right, sorry, go into the book, and then she's, uh, well, she's ready and willing, go up, and we're going to grab the lantern, which again, you probably could have just thrown something at it, or got a big stick or something, but that's okay, so we've got the lantern, head down, head out, now what we're going to do is go uh, and press the button once more, after she's apparently all good now, Yep, she's good. Hook appears. Job done. So, interact with the button on the ground one more time. And then she's going to say, well, <laughs> what was that? Ten seconds? Get the hell out of my house. Ten seconds for cooking food, because I'm a master at it. So, after you've uh, picked her up off the ground, uh, go and put the lantern here on the hook. The lantern, of course, will be the very first one in your inventory. So, make sure that is all good. And then we can interact with the device one more time. And Bob's your nan's uncles. Now, make sure to pick up the magic Aladdin teapot here off the ground. So that should get you three items. And now we are going to have to do another, um, another puzzle in order to get an achievement, which we cannot fail. Basically... We have to complete this next puzzle without taking any items off, which is very easily done. So we're going to do press the A button here on the pedestal. We are going to press the Y button to get our inventory out. And then the first item that we're going to put out is the bell. So grab the bell and put it on. Now you can see the little pedestal on the right. What you need to do is press the very right hand button to make it go anti-clockwise. So the very right hand side button, press it once. And then go back to the main pedestal here and press the Y button. This time what we're going to do then is pop the t uh, shoe on. As I say, the shoe pot then. And then press the anti-clockwise button again. So the very right hand side button. And then finally, you're going to put the G Magic Genie Rubby Rub Rub teapot on. Then make sure to interact with the anti-clockwise button two more times to finish this puzzle again. You're disappointing Aladdin by not rubbing the genie's big, massive teapot end. Um, so, after that one, you should get the quite easily done achievement. All, we could, all we're going to do is head straight forward, interact with the book to complete this chapter, and on to the next!
So, a bit of a weird one, but first of all, we're going to get the achievement called Book Lover. Now, what you have to do is press the X button. Right, it's, you can see it at the very top right-hand corner of the screen. You need to press the X button, first of all, and there will be three eyeballs with three different things in it. So, all we're going to do for now is just keep flipping, be flipping between the two top two pages until the Book Lover achievement unlocks. Oh yeah, Mr. Book Lover. Oh yeah, New Year date with a book. Right, so after that one's unlocked, what you're going to do is interact with the second eyeball. So make sure that you are on the second eyeball. Then press the X button in order to walk and then start heading down the steps. And basically keep going until you hit the door on the, on the very bottom right hand corner. Press the A button to go in. And then what you're going to do, uh, there's only going to be one button prompt and it's going to be on the eyeball that has just opened up. So press the A button here to get the little paper boy. Little paper boy man, how much money you make? Nothing. I'm so sorry for that last terrible accent. Please don't cancel me and sue me for cultural appropriation. Right, go down to the third page. Again, you'll have to press the X button and then go down to the third page, the button page. Press the X button again to walk. And then what you're going to do is head all the way left until you <laughs> hit the next door. See, I was going... <laughs> I was going to get some uh, braids in my bald head, but uh, cultural appropriation and stuff, you know, people hate it these days. Uh, right, again, just press the A button when the eyeball appears to get the next item. And once that one is done, then again, press the X button. Oh, in fact, no, we're all good. We can actually just head all the way back to the right. Sorry, we don't need to press the X button just yet. Head all the way to the right. Now we're going to press the X button. Uh, the prompt should appear when you get close enough. There it is. Then we're going to go to the top, very top eyeball right there. Flip that page lovely. Again, press the X button in order to move. And head all the way up to the top door. And again, it'll be the same thing. Just press the A button when the eye opens up. And that'll get you the next item. So do not bother walking yet. What we're going to do is immediately press the X button now and go down to the very third eyeball button thing. So eyeball page. And then now we can start moving. So again, press the X button to move it. Move it, move it. Head. What we're going to do is head down first. So keep heading all the way down the steps. And what you're going to see then is this door here with uh, already three eyeballs on it. So when we get here, press the X button again, go up to the second eyeballs, the cat's page. And then what we can do is, again, press the X button to start moving, head up to the very top of the door. So up the steps here, to the right, into the door. And again, just do the same thing as you've done. As soon as the eyeball awakens, press the A button. And that will awaken the beast. The beast. The beast is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the mother burn. Or in normal terms, the door just opened. So head down to the door. Cat will push us in. Uh, because cats are not douchebaggery animals, of course. They're loving scratchy things. <laughs> uh, God damn it, cats. I mean, I love cats. Please don't hate me. Right, so now we're into the trippy stuff, if it hasn't been trippy so far. So, press the white button to go into your inventory. We're going to get the ball. So you need to stick your balls inside the glass vase, which uh, many, will, many women will have their partners. 
So this may look very familiar, uh, but put the balls in anyway <laughs> until we get to the next scene. I'm so sorry. So when we get to Sleeping Puppet with one eye sticking out, no eyes sticking out of her eyeball, uh, put the button on her eye and she will miraculously, uh, she will miraculously just not be injured anymore and start celebrating, very much like most professional footballers, Alvaro Morata for Atletico Madrid, I'm looking at you. So go into your inventory and put the um, music note on the very top of the um spinny carousel thing. Sorry, my brain's dead. Um, that won't work, but it is needed for an achievement. So we've done it once, that's all you need to do. So next we can get the paper boy and put him in the bottom option there. So that will sort him out. And then what we can do is put the music note again at the very top. And what that will do is again progress the story, but most importantly then it will get us the Lingering Tune achievement for placing the music note more than once in the book world. So if you've managed to miss this, again, just quickly reload the checkpoint and go again. Take on me, take on me, take me on. Just had mega aha vibes right there. And if you don't know who aha is, then I am old as... <laughs> God damn, I'm old. J just look at aha, take me on. It's exactly, this, this is just the same exact music video right there. Right, on to chapter eight. So, we interact with scary looking thing directly in front of us first, again, as you'd normally do in any video game, movie, or TV series. So, from here, start heading left up the steps. Now, we've got a lot of levering to do right here. So, basically, there's three rows. The, the first row, I'm going to say, which is closest to us. The second row, of course, is the middle row. The third one is right at the very back. So, uh, just in case, right there. So, interact with the lever. And then with the first row, what you're going to do is move it to the left eight times. Basically until it's all the way to the very left. So just keep pressing the A button here until it's on the very left hand side. So eight times to count. So press the B button to escape the lever's grasp and command. So head left, interact with the book. And then what you're going to do is just press the A button here on the switch. And that'll get something swinging. And now we can really begin starting to swing, to start to swing. Ing. So after that's done, then what you can do is head back to the left. Uh, go into the book. And then we can interact with the lever again. So head to the lever, of course, and then what we're going to do is you choose the second row. So the second platform, the second row, I'll just keep calling it, and move it to the left just once. Then we can back out of the lever, head left to the book, and then interact with the second switch. And then head all the way back to the left to go back to the lever. So what we're going to do now, once we've interacted with the lever, 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 we're going to interact with the third row, the second platform. So the third row, the second platform, and move it to the right once. So like I said, third row, second platform, move it to the right once. Then you're going to go to the first row. So move it to the first row and move it to the right five times. So move the first row platform to the right 
five times. Follow the lever, lever, lever. Follow the lever. Oi, oi. So once that's done and it's looking good right there, uh, head to the first row platform, interact with the book, interact with the switch, and then go back to the lever. So after you've freed the first chain, um, go back, of course, like I said, to the lever, and then we're going to interact with the first row platform and move it to the right two times. So move the first row twice to the right. And then what we're going to do, press the B button, of course, to back out again, go to the book, and then interact with the next switch. And that will release chain number two. So back at the lever, what we're going to do is move the first row platform to the left just once. So to the left once, and then you're going to move the second row. So uh, move the second row platform to the right six times. So six times the middle row here. And then finally, what you're going to do is go to the third row and then move the second platform to the left once. And then the third platform to the left just once. And if it's looking as good as that, then, uh, well, handy days. Now we can move on. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So heading to the book once again. And we can go up, free the third chain. And jobs, your nan's butt bagging uncle nuts. Whatever. Basically, it's done. We're all good. So then that's got us the discovery achievement, which is always nice. So we're going to head back down. It's time to finish this little section now. So head back down into the book. Go back to the lever. Uh, it seems like this uh, section's taken a long while, huh? So move the first row platform to the right three times. Uno's dos tres pitbull. Pitbull is apparently now in the uh, alpha alpha numerical stages of life. Uh, the second row, make sure to move that three times to the right as well. And then finally, what you're going to do with the third row, but the fifth platform, move that to the right just at once. And that is job done. What you'll do then is just interact with the book, and you can finish the level or finish this part of the level anyway. Okay, head down the stairs. Again, not spooky or crap pantingly scary at all. Head down the stairs, some more stairs will appear for us to walk down more stairs. It's a very walkable game, this one. Right, so when we finally regain control of Miss Iris Fall, head all the way to the right, and you're going to see, don't get in the puppet's way, because they'll push you out the way like a bunch of puppet douchebags. See? Hey, screw off, man. Uh, have a look at this little pedestal, or this little puzzle-type thing. 
what we basically have to do is just put the, the buttons in a position so that they fold up and basically fill the whole thing. So the first button, put it on the top right hand corner, you'll see what I mean. And then the top bottom button, put it on the bottom left hand corner, they will fold up and go flap, 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 flap. Flappity doo da, flappity -er hee. Right, so for the first one, which we're going to grab, uh, make sure then we're going to put him in the, uh, basically, not the very top right hand corner, but just the one next to it. Then go down and grab the middle broski, and you're going to put him in the bottom right hand corner. There you go, that fills out nicely. And then the final one, what we're going to do is put him in the sort of uh, third row on the second square. Third row, second square. That Yeah, that's. I hope that makes more sense. So that'll fill that one out. Now, this next one seems daunting, but it's actually not too bad, of course, because, you know, I've played through it, so I know it's not. So grab the top one, and then what you're going to do is put him in the... Uh, sort of the fifth from bottom row on the left-hand side. So the fifth from bottom row on the left-hand side. Go ahead and grab the second broski bra, and then put him in the top... Very top right hand corner. Third broski bra. Uh, what we're going to do is pop him all the way down into the sort of uh, penultimate square right in the middle there. So the second from bottom, second square. Um, and obviously it's lit up. It's lit up, so it's exactly where I'm telling you to put it. So put it uh, just where I actually just did. And then for the final one, then you're going to put him in the. Not the very top left-hand square, but the one just uh, underneath it. Uh, apologies, my explanation there got a bit um, tangibly stupid. So I do apologize about that. But like I said, it, it lit up where exactly uh, it, you should have placed it anyway. So once that bit is done, the puppets can now puppet themselves. Now this is very important for an achievement. What we're going to do is head left here. You can see the shadow puppet just standing there, lonely, alone. Not Nothing's really going on, but we're going to interact with the book. We're going to go to the right, and we're going to get shoved square in the nostrils by this stupid shadow puppet. So that will be for the do not pass achievement. So that's do not pass for the, the first out of two times that we're going to do this. So after this, we can head to the left, head back out of the book. Again, we've roughly, roughly got about 10 minutes left now, which is always nice. Uh, so head back to the right. There are two platforms that we're going to move to the left. To the right now, y'all. So this smaller one, what we're going to do is move this to the left. So press the X button here five times, basically until it's all the way to the left. And just one more time. So not that it's all the way to the very left, but just... Right, right by that platform there, the raised platform. So head to the bigger platform and then press the X button on here once so that you are just on this uh, circly bit. Then go to the right and interact with the lever. And that'll spin that around. Handy dandy McMandy. Uh, now what we're going to do is press it to the left four times. So press the X button four times. And once we're fine and dandy, Mr. McMandy, what we're going to do is head to the left and go into the book. So into the book we go. And we can head up, interact with the book again to get ourselves out. And we're up onto the top step. Oh my god, it's Batman. Don't go fighting Superman, because who's Martha? Why did you say that name? Martha. Grr. So, a little puzzle that we've got to do. If you hadn't had enough of puzzles by now, we've got a couple more to do. Right, so, uh, we've got a trapped little girl who can only be described as you. I, I guess, unless it's... I, I don't know. But anyway, we have now got to rescue this shadow puppet girl. And we will do that with relative ease. So what we're going to do is head up the ramp here. For some reason, my ability to walk up ramps is hindered slightly by my idiocy. So <laughs> we're going to head all the way to the right when you finally get there. And pick up the triangle piece on the ground. Make sure to pick that one up. 
Then we're going to head back up the ramp. You can see where we need to go. There are three holes in the wall. Triangle, circle, square. So head to the very left-hand side. Press the Y button. Pop the triangle in. And then press the button once. Now we're going to head up the newly lefted platform. And we're going to grab the circle button thing. The circle, yeah, well, the circle button, yeah, whatever. So pick it up, go to the right, of course, and then press the white button in your inventory to get the circle button, pop it in, and then press the button once again. And once that's done then, what we're going to do, that's going to raise up to the right, and then, of course, we can go into the book. Again, very conveniently placed. Fantastic, I love it. We're going to head up. And we can pick up the shadow square button now. Oh, fantastic. So head back down to the left. Go into the... Go also go out of the book this time. We're going to press the circle button again so that the right-hand side platform will go down. So now we can head to the right. Pop the square in. And then again, of course, press the button. That's going to put our little shadowy friend over to the right-hand side. Oh, aren't we just a delight? Press the square button again. And now she's going to start... Ah, oh, hi, friend. Would you like a KFC? But I would love a KFC right now. So anyway, off she pops. And she's going to help us out by um, whapping out this uh, lever. So that's part one of the stairs done. Now we need to get the second part up. So we're going to press the triangle button here once. And that'll get the platform down. Head, uh, go into the book. This is for the do not pass achievement, by the way. So head into the book, head to the left. You will get shoved by the puppet again, but you will get, as I said, the do not pass achievement. Grande. There it is. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right, so head out of the book. And then once again, we are just going to head down to the left-hand side. I'm not going to press any more buttons. We're going to interact with the lever. And that will pop up this set of stairs, and that's all we're going to do. Murder, she wrote, head up the stairs. Which had nothing to do with murder, she wrote. They think it's all over. It's still not over. Right, so, a couple more to do. Right, so first of all, grab the light just off to the right, just on the first sort of swirly pad, and then go over to the right-hand side. So basically the slot in the middle, and then put the light in the um, slot right here. And then that will get the lever down, or the platform down, sorry. And that will be handy for us, as that will enable us to go to the right-hand side to pick up yet another light. Should be over to the right. And then directly to the left of you is another slot that we can put this light in. So that's what you're going to be doing. Stick it in. Stick it in. Uh, pop it in. There we go. Job done. I'm so sorry. Um, <sighs> so what we're going to do now is head over to the left. Over the platform. We're going to uh, pick up this light again. So that'll go straight back into your inventory. And then what you're going to do is head into the book, go towards the left, so head up to the left, head out of the book, and then we can put this light in this newly found slot here. Again, you could probably, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could just sort of climb up and push his, pull yourself up, but there we go. Anyway, that'll get the first eyeball open. Yeah. Not exactly Sauron, but there we go. Um, so <laughs> go back down. So into the book, don't go back out, we're just going to head all the way to the right. There we go, and we're going to pick up this light, which will go straight back into our inventory. And then, as you can see, oh, all weird manners of things are happening now. So this time what we are going to do is head out of the book this time. We can't actually go up to the left, which is fine. 
And on the very left hand side slot, what you're going to do is put the light that we just picked up into this slot on the very left hand side. That will get the next light pop in. Now, very, very important actually for this next lever that we need to interact with, we have to get an, a, a mis very miserable achievement first before doing the true ending or the ending. Um, so eventually it will appear and pop up. So when the device appears, what we're going to do is head to the right and then you're going to press this. Make sure to press these buttons. You're going to press the A button once and then the X button once. So the A button once and that'll go and then the X button once and just wait until the achievement unlocks and then when it does, there we go. So you'll get the true self achievement. Then we're going to press the X button once more. And that will actually reveal the story progression bit. But you have to press the A button, then the X button, get the achievement, then the X button. And then what we're going to do is just walk up the stairs to the finale of the Rumiostis. So this is the hardest puzzle in the game then. All we're going to do is interact with the book on the bed, press the A button when you've got it three times and that will unlock the final achievement and the final part of the game. That'll be 22 out of 22 achievements. Luckily, it's not the hardest puzzle in the game because honestly, this was a good game. It was a very good puzzle game, but uh, I've had enough of puzzles now. Um, <laughs> this is a nice lengthy a nice length for a good puzzle game. But anyway, that is that then, guys and cals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. You should now have 22 out of 22 achievements. You can't beat it when it's free, can you? <laughs> so, th again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I do hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Big shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon as well. Absolute legends. And there we go then. I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.